What's up YouTube and welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to model a really cool abstract shape. We're gonna use a donut and some modifiers, really simple but quite effective. Then we're gonna dive a little bit deeper in the world note. We're gonna use a texture or a gradient to light our scene. We're gonna create a really cool glass dispersion material. It looks quite incredible in my opinion. A really simple way to add a lot of complexity and interesting colors to your model. Let's go. Let's start by modeling our shape. Shift A, S, and we're gonna use the torus. We're gonna increase the minor segments to 32 and the minor radius to 0.4. Select the torus, right click, shade smooth. Let's go to modifier properties and let's add a simple deform. Increase the angle. Click on the arrow, duplicate or shift D change the axis and let's add a subdivision surface. We can put the render to six and let's change the viewport to four or five. Congrats, the modeling is done. Let's hop into the lighting. Let's bring up a shader editor window, activate the viewport shading. Let's go into the world. We're gonna use a very simple technique, but very useful. Shift A, S, gradient texture, control T, Shift A, S, color ramp, plug the color to the factor and the color to the color. And now our world is lit by this color ramp. We can tweak a few things, starting with the rotation. On the Y, we can rotate that to 90 degree and we can change the colors. Just pick two color that you enjoy. And by moving the slider, you can bring more or less of that color. You can also use the X location to move the gradient up or down. Maybe something like that. Let's work on the Taurus material. Shader Editor, Object. Through your Blender journey, you will collect really cool materials along the way. And this is one of them. CG Vertex made a really cool glass dispersion material and he's giving that away for free on his Gumroad. Link in the description. Open the blend file. Control C to copy the circle. Go back to your file. Control V to paste it. Now the material has been copied to your scene. You can delete the circle immediately. Go back to your torus material properties and choose glass dispersion. Right off the bat, you can tell it's looking really cool. Lots of interesting reflection within the glass. There's a few parameters you can play with. Maybe we're gonna set that to 0.1 and this one to 0.1. For now, the glass material is quite soft. So you can probably stop here, find a cool angle that you wanna render. We're gonna add one more level of complexity and introduce a new concept called displacement. In the shader editor, shift A, S, displacement. This is gonna move the geometry up and down depending on what we feed this node. For today, we're gonna feed him a noise texture. Control T, Control Shift click to preview the noise texture. I'm gonna increase the scale to eight and leave the other parameters this way. And I'm gonna plug the displacement to the displacement material output. Nothing is happening, which is normal. We have to enable displacement. Go to material properties, scroll down to settings, and in displacement, just add displacement only. Things are going well, which means it works. We just need to lower our scale. Maybe something to 0 0.2, 0 0.1. Let's plug back the glass dispersion. And now we introduce more complexity to our shape as well as more reflection. It's now your turn to play with the angle of the camera and find a really cool frame that you like. And that is what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm gonna speed up the video. I don't really like this blue background. It's quite bright. So I'm gonna head to render properties, scroll down. And in film section, I'm gonna click on transparent. This way, I will be able to edit the background in post-production in Photoshop. Let's keep moving. As an example, that took almost three minutes to render. You know the drill by now. Let's review the image and I'm gonna do all of the fixes that I'm calling out. First, I really like this displacement, creates some really cool curves and distortion into the mesh. The material looks cool, so I'm not gonna change anything there. I don't like the lighting. The top is way too flat. The blues and the purple are not doing it for me, so I'll fix that. That's probably about it for this one, so let's speed up the video.
Just a quick break to explain you what I'm doing. I'm creating planes with a black material to block the light. Something you can do is go into the object mode and disable the camera visibility, which will make the plane transparent to the camera, but still will block the light. Let's move on. If you're looking for a more ethereal and floaty and bubbly style, just remove the panels that blocks the light so you can get those kind of renders. Thanks so much for following along. I hope you learned a few things. Please do not forget to subscribe and like the video. It is really important for me and the growth of the channel. That's it for now.